we doing today people we're out here today at the compound and we are getting some chores done and you are going to not want to miss this this is a little life hack that you may want to have all you need is a four x four four wheeler you need to go to your local tractor supply and grab some of the skids that they throw out when they bring in an implement or a tractor and take a look at what we got so this is just a random piece of steel lay the uh, angle iron down okay hook it up with a strap to your trusty little four-wheeler 2003 model and look at what I did I took some of this high spot of the mountain here that they put in and I was getting some water puddling up here so what I did is I created a small swale and I used the excavator and I made sure I had a small swell there so the water can run across and drop into the ditches and what I'm doing people is I'm using this to drag it along the situation and it's picking up the rocks and it's it's leveling out the high spots of the dirt it's like a York rake but it's not a York rake it's a your rake if you know what I'm saying so let's take a run with it and let's see uh, exactly the situation how we're making out here and we'll try to get you some try to get you some live action people I know you want to see live action you don't want to just hear someone talk all right here we go Now, I like to go a little fast because what it does is it takes the high spots down really good. Now, you don't need to necessarily have it in four-wheel drive for this application. We'll take a look at what we got, people. threw some more dirt up in here and just kind of created a swale so it can come around and run into the uh, the ditch assembly here but uh, we're really appreciating it we're really liking the fact that we grabbed this four-wheeler when we did years ago um, 570 original miles on it and the situation says we're getting her done people and we're getting her done right get some yard work done and you say to yourself I don't have a four-wheeler and I don't have a piece of steel like that where would I get that now an old bed frame or a mattress will work I got this at uh, tractor supply they throw these skids out all the time and I was gonna actually weld some tangs down on it and to help it grab but the, the, as long as you flip the angle iron down it works really good I'm surprised I've only ran across this like 20 times and it's already got it all leveled out uh, get yourself a four-wheeler look on uh, Facebook marketplace and try to find something you know um, it doesn't have to be perfect but get yourself a wheeler something that you're gonna uh, be able to use around the house don't get you a banshee or something it's a, it's a racer one you need a four-wheel drive one if you're gonna do any yard work on the compound or if you have a ranch or if you have say a horse ranch like my friend Robert um, if he has something like that Robert, I'm going to say this right now. If I come across a four-wheeler up my way, and I do come across them from time to time, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to get it, and I'll just have to drive it down and drop it off for you because I know you need a four-wheel drive four-wheeler down there. And, you know, your boy's got you. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's got you. But uh, at the end of the day, 
Um, also, yesterday what I did was, uh, let's go take a look at it. I got a piece of uh, a two trailer axles from a guy about an hour from here, and that's gonna go underneath my Conic. So let's go take a look at what we got on our land right now. Let's go see. Let's take a look at what we got on the compound. So we picked this up right here, and the guy, he wanted 300 bucks for it. And honestly, I would have gave him 300 for the two axles and the tires. These are eight feet wide, so they'll fit from tire to tire. So they'll fit directly underneath my Connex building. Um, the only thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to bring out some outriggers here to come out and down. I wanna do three spots, one here, one here and one on the end on both sides that way what i may do is just come across the entire thing notch this out and put a complete beam across so that it's holding the weight type deal and it keeps the uh the steel from wanting to flex in or out now mind you these aren't going down the road if it does i'll have to uh get some new tires but this is mainly just to satisfy the codes department and to call them trailers them's my connex buildings out there as you see, I got my Gravely out there, the nice mower, but they're going to go underneath and, I mean, that's enough about the trailer axles. We got to get one more set. Um, I did find some uh, tongues today for them. I got to go get later on. But the real star of the show today is this 2003 series Suzuki Iger, and we're really loving it. Um, I do have the panel off here because I'm getting ready to do an oil change on it. But uh, you must do the oil changes on them, people. They have filters, and I only buy the Suzuki filters, okay? But uh, that little piece of steel right there, you would be surprised. People will tell you, oh, you need to go out and buy a York rake and spend six to $800 on a York rake. And even on Facebook Marketplace, some York rakes are not cheap. But uh, this isn't a York rake. This is a my rake. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm happy with it. Just make sure you put your uh, the angle iron down so it's facing down so it can bite in. But uh, while we're at it, let's just go take a look and take just a gander at the LH12 AGT Industrial. This is what I used to grade that off over there, and I did get the grading bucket on. Take a look at that. We're really happy with it. The grading bucket says... Do you have anything that needs to be uh, smoothed out and moved quickly? Uh, it's not really a digging bucket, but if it's in the topsoil or something like that that you freshly put down or rock, it'll grade it out beautifully. So that's the situation we're dealing with. We have some equipment. We have upgraded in 2024. This will be a year that says, hey, we got equipment and we started to get it and starting to assemble it because we don't know what's going to happen in the world. We could be... Uh, it, who knows we could be in a situation where we need everything we have to get through like if I need to dig a hole or a trench around this and put some uh, Who knows like my property, you know if you got someone that's starting to let's say for example You start getting people coming up like Colorado, right? Um, about Colorado now if this was Colorado and you had those illegal immigrants coming across trying to uh, How do I put it breach my building? <laughs> okay, first of all you're going to have to get past uh, old Betty Lou. And I got a few Betty Lou's in the house that, uh, let's just say, are ready to rock and ready to roll. Let's this guy go by here. He slowed down because I had the phone in my hand. He must think I was taking a picture of him. But I really don't care. This is America. You want to go 90 down the road? Go 90. Uh, if they try to come on my property, God help them if they come through the woods. Because we've got some stuff out there that'll that'll make them question their religion, if you know what I mean. But uh, if I have to, I can dig these trenches out. I'll dig a trench around here, and we can do like the Germans did, put like angled pieces in, make it rough and harder for them to cross. They won't be able to pull a vehicle up in here. They won't be able to uh, just ramsack your property quickly. 
uh, by the time they get working through the barbed wire and the uh, the railings and the fence and you put any kind of sharp objects that you have like any kind of piece of metal drive them in at different angles so that they're getting hung up trying to get to your property it gives you more time okay how do I put this to really get an angle on them if you know what I mean so if they want to come out to the country and see what we're all about um, I recommend that they go ahead and try it then I mean Jason Aldean says uh, I wouldn't recommend that in a small town I'm starting to say now I recommend it come on out let's let's get her down let's get her to business and see what happens and uh, one thing I know you're not gonna do <laughs> you're not going out to Waco and trying that okay uh, them people out there are different they're built different but at the end of the day uh, I'm gonna call this little Waco okay my property might be considered little Waco because at the end of the day I'm not trying to let nobody cross my property and I'm not letting nobody come and invade me I can guarantee you that and they can try it but remember I do have a digging attachment for a backhoe and they're not looking for them people at my house all right this is your boy Bry this was about a four-wheeler but it got off on a rant but it's okay because this is America and we can do what we want on our channel we can say what we want this is America we have free speech and we can do what we want all right this is your boy Bry one last look at the Iger take a look we're grading her out we're getting her done all right people